Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. First of all, I would like to, to thank for all of you who have seen my previous videos that you watch them, you like them, and especially if you subscribe, I'm truly grateful for it. But what makes me even happier that you are back for more. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to give you a big welcome. I'm very glad that you found me. Uh, and I do hope that this reading is going to be helpful for all of you. Today we're going to take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the next coming months of October, November and December. And we're going to elaborate on all aspects of life, whether it is uh, love or and rela relationship, but also uh, we're going to take a look at... Um, money, career, finance, uh, meanings of the cards. But as usual, this is a general reading, so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. So let's get started with the heart of your reading. Um, so in the center of your reading, you do have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is the card of the Happy Families, Reunion, homecoming and celebrations surprises some of you might be going to some parties weddings and and this is kind of the card when you feel well when you're feeling welcome uh, you're kind of in a community in a family family uh, and and you're kind of feeling home this is a great card for teamwork success uh, this is the card of prosperity, stability, security. And this is kind of like where you're laying down your roots, whether you're here for work or whether you're here for love. This is amazing uh, card to have because this card is all about um, happy families, celebrations, surprises, and, um, and, and prosperity. So when you look at it uh, from a money, career, finance perspective, this can an indication that things are going to go well for you in the next uh, period uh, from a work uh, perspective. This uh, describes uh, a work environment that is very pleasant, uh, very supportive, and you are getting along with your colleagues and uh, whenever this card appears. This is, <clears throat> this is a describer of a very productive work environment uh, and a good team work as well. Now, this can be also a sign that maybe at your work, there's going to be some gathering, there's a party uh, happening. <clears throat> and and again, this is uh, a very good card for financial situation uh, as well. This is, as, as I talked about, this is kind of laying down the roots. This is the 11-11 card. When you have something, a new door is opening for, uh, for you, when you are feeling welcomed, when you are feeling home. And when you're looking at from a love perspective this is an amazing card to have because uh, it is representing happy family uh, success and stability so maybe uh, you are already in a relationship and the relationship is getting to the next level in terms of an engagement or getting married uh, it can also uh, be a sign of some kind of a celebration party family get together baptism or family reunion um, and and again, this is a great card for weddings and and um, an engagement as well. So if you're single, this can be an indication of a new relationship coming into you, into your life. And for existing relationships, that is getting to the next level. And again, as I said, it's a new beginning. It's a new start where you are feeling home, when you're feeling welcome. What a great energy to have in the center of your reading. Now, when you look at the first card, the first card is the Six of Wands. So the Six of Wands is the card of victory, acknowledgement, and being in the center of attention when you are being celebrated, when you worked hard for something, and finally you achieved whatever you wanted. So this is a great card in terms of money, career, finance, because uh, this can be a sign that maybe you're getting a job, you got a job, and uh, you're getting a promotion, amazing card for a promotion, or you're, st you're very successful in your projects and achieving all of your goals. This is a hard, uh, this is a celebration, this is a victory that is hard earned. He's been to many battles and he's coming back victoriously, even in terms of a... Uh, 
a relationship uh, perspective it's a great indication that you are successful the relationship is going well if you're in an existing relationship or if you're single you're going to be in the center of attention and you have lots of uh, possibilities to meet somebody amazing now the next we have here is the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is a card that indicates that uh, change is always happening in your life the wheel is turning and when it is coming out coming up in a reading it's an indication that the wheel is turning for uh, our for the better things are improving things are getting more positive things are getting luckier it's a lucky change as a number 10 indicates an end of a cycle as well so if you've been going through some hardship this card is indicating that things are good, turning better for you if you're trying to get a job i think you you have a very great prospect with these three uh cards that uh, in this period you're gonna be successful of starting a new job or a new project or your own business as well uh, even in terms of relationship, the Wheel of Fortune is a great uh, indicator of positive change coming into your life. This is the card when the universe is collaborating with you to make things better in your life. So if you are single, definitely a great sign that you're going to be in a, a stable, uh, prosperous relationship. If you're in an existing relationship, we talked about it, that, you know, and the relationship might be getting onto the next level of getting married. Sometimes, you know, the wheel of fortune can change, bring some changes that are for greater good. So if you're in a bad relationship, maybe you need to um, finish that relationship so a better one is coming into that. But, you know, so far you have very positive cards, so I don't think that you need to be worried. I, things are really changing for the better in this period of time. And we do have here the next card, which is the Five of Wands. This is the card of conflict and competition. Uh, but again, this is kind of like not a serious conflict. This is kind of like when you look at it, these guys are training for the battle. So one thing to uh, consider uh, when you look at it from a conflict perspective, this can be a conflict when uh, the conflict is in between people that are coming from uh, different backgrounds and that's the source of the conflict and that they are trying to get their own way uh, now uh, this is a major card for competition so maybe there's a lot of competition in, in the area that you are in so when we look at this card from a money career finance perspective it can be a sign that you have conflict at, at work where you know people are coming from different backgrounds and uh, that's kind of creating the conflict but it's also a sign that you are in an environment that's very competitive maybe you've been applying for jobs there are a lot of competition and that's uh, what's causing causing you or caused you uh, grief but even if you're going for uh, contracts or you're going for some kind of a promotion uh, definitely this is a sign that there's a lot of competition or the industry is very saturated where you have lot of uh, players when if you're here for love and relationship uh, this can be again as i said uh, a conflict uh, in between parties where you have where they're coming from a different uh, background and that's causing uh, some misunderstandings but again it can be a sign that uh, maybe um, you are competing with many people for uh, the same person or you are in the center of, a, of attention of many people competing for you and uh, there's definitely a sign of competition but overall I don't think that you need to worry about this competition this period of time even though there might be a lot of competition you do have the wheel of fortune which is showing that things are turning better for you and you do have the six of wands which is the winner of the card it's, like, it's very interesting that you do have five of wands then you have six of wands which is an indication that you're gonna be able to conquer conquer uh, this battle that you're going through and the next we have here is the four of swords the four of swords is the card of uh, meditation relaxation and healing so some of you might have gone through some difficult times in your life and you are recovering your healing and you might have been taking some time off as well uh, usually this is a card of pause when you regenerating rebirthing and uh, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of like a break that was necessary 
and it's a break that's uh, that's an indication that uh, it's a blessing in disguise as well uh, because even though things are not uh, evolving things are not changing for you you're not feeling it but in the background the universe is co-creating the universe is orchestrating for uh, you to make things better so from a work perspective it might be just an indication that you know you need to take some time off or you need to go on vacation uh, some of you might have gone through not uh, being employed and uh, this might be just indicating the long process but I think you know you see that uh, you have the homecoming which is it's just kind of finding your own tribe you have the winner and the, the competition that you're gonna be successful so I think whatever time off you've been going through this is something that is changing now if you're here for love uh, this is a card that maybe you've been single for a while and uh, and you've been recovering from previous uh, challenges in your love life it can be also a sign that maybe you need to take a little step back from the relationship and rethink reassess uh, but um, this is a card of meditation as well so some of you might be trying to meditate or manifest something and the next we have here is an amazing card the lovers the lovers is all about harmony balance partnership partnership that is uh, mutually beneficial based on respect based on uh, attraction as well if you're here, here for love this is an amazing card to have because uh, this is a kind of like a soulmate type of uh, attraction relationship if you're single definitely a new uh, relationship your soulmate is coming in if you're in an existing relationship uh, it can also mean that you are already with your soulmate and this is the card of uh, when the relationship is getting to the next level so there's definitely you have really two cards that can indicate some kind of an engagement or some kind of a commitment uh, of, of, uh, a, uh, of, uh, of any kind um, like you know it can be some wedding definitely for some of you or, or engagement but this is the card of decision as well so some of you might have, have to make a decision might have to make make a decision about the relationship might have to make a decision about getting married or not getting married maybe you have to sleep on it a little bit before you make this uh, decision uh, but this card is also great from a money career finance because uh, you might have some options to choose from it can be a sign of a great new partnership that is coming into your life There's, and, and it's very interesting when you look at these columns that are very similar on both cards they are indi indicating stability and harmony and balance uh, now let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading but before that please don't forget to like share and subscribe because that's an indication that the reading was helpful for you and you can also help me to increase the channel and to make sure that the reading gets out to as many people that need need it and for you it is only uh, taking or costing a push of a button so i hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons and um, and if you are willing to share i'm always happy to read in the comment section what's going on in your life now the next we have here is the devil so the devil is uh first of all the card of capricorn uh, the energy of capricorn so that this can be just a good indication that uh, your energy is in this reading capricorn so you are able to uh, battle uh, the situation that you are in the middle of um, but let's talk about what is the meaning of the devil the devil is a, a situation where you don't see the way out and uh, and you're kind of feeling trapped you're feeling um, that you're not able to move forward and some of you might be feel, feeling that being in this situation for a while so maybe uh, you are in a toxic work environment you are not, not employed and you're not able to find a job you, or um, you're in a toxic uh, relationship um, right so so this is something that that kind of always holds you back for some reason and uh, 
and and you always need to think about that when the devil comes out that there's a way out you just need to make a decision although it can be hard because the devil can be somebody who's very attractive this can be uh, indicating some vices as well so maybe some of you are or you're in uh, dealing with a person who has addiction problems <clears throat> definitely uh, 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 um, can be a, a description of a relationship where there's too much dependency or some kind of a situation where you have just too much dependency on something now the next we have here is the amazing six of pentacles the six of pentacles is all about uh, uh, balance it's all about um, uh, harmony as well when uh, somebody uh, with a power is coming in to help you so this is a, a great card uh, uh, from money career finance perspective because it might be that you are uh, somebody who has a power is coming in to help you it is also an indication that you know if you are trying to get financial help you are trying to get a loan a mortgage uh, that or, or somebody to come and invest uh, with you that you're gonna get the uh, financial help the mortgage the, the loan that you are looking for uh, but even in terms of like a, an, a, a relationship it's very great to see uh, the six of pentacles because it's very similar to the lovers in a sense that um, that it's always kind of talking about uh, equal relationship where uh, each party is is uh, giving and taking the same amount from uh, the relationship um, if you are single there's definitely a sign that a great relationship is coming in but this can be also a sign in terms of relationship that you might be trying to make some uh, financial uh, decisions uh, uh, together uh, now the last card we have here is the world the world is such a lovely energy because the world is all about uh, complete completing a, a cycle of your life and uh, and and this is definitely showing an end of a cycle and a new one is beginning because after the world comes uh, the fool which is pretty much starting the whole uh, journey again uh, but what's amazing in the in the uh, world card that, that you know you're kind of looking back with a lot of accomplishments with a lot of uh, um, success so there, this is definitely one of those cards when whatever you're trying to achieve you're achieving it with great results so let's look at it from a money career finance perspective it is a card that's indicating that whatever your goal is you're accomplishing if you want a new job a promotion you want to start your own business great uh, card to have uh, also can mean uh, travel um, because this is the world card so maybe you have to uh, you're going to be traveling uh, in in the next three months uh, if you look at it from a um, uh, relationship perspective, the world is uh, also great because you're achieving your relationship goals. If you're single and you want to get into a relationship, there's definitely one coming in for you. If you are uh, in a relationship, it is a card that's indicating that uh, you're getting to the next step, the next level of the relationship uh, can be indication of marriage, engagement moving in with each other definitely a great card to have from every uh, point uh, but there's one kind of very interesting thing when you look at your reading you do have the six of wands the six of pentacles you do have uh, the lovers as well which is number six so six 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 is an angel number they also call it the call the uh, number of the devil which you have in in this in this reading so i definitely encourage you to look up uh, the angel number 666 uh, because that might be a sign for you 
or uh, maybe the number 666 will be coming up uh, uh, quite a few times during this period of time and that has a special meaning so make sure that you uh, pay attention to how you feel uh, whenever you're seeing uh, this number but when you look at uh, the angel, angel number 666 you need to look at um, your balance right and you, we have a couple of cards here both the lovers and the six of pentacles that are talking about balance and harmony so make sure that you know you're paying uh, attention to your balance uh, how much attention you're your, uh, how much attention you're paying to certain area of your life versus uh, the other and and uh, make sure that you're not developing an over attachment to something unhealthy uh, through either relationship substance or negative thought patterns as well so so balance is is very key uh, when it comes to uh, the number 666 but again i do recommend you uh, to uh, look it up because you know it can be different for everybody because you know sometimes you need to look at the bigger picture in terms of paying attention to um, smaller things where you're just wasting your time with something but overall I think this is an amazing reading and when we look at the bottom of the deck you do have the three of swords which is an indication that you might be afraid of uh, something you might be afraid of the previous heartbreak the previous negative experiences uh, that you uh, went through in your life but i think uh, the other numerology here is that you have some progress as well you have four five six uh, so there's definitely some progress and you have some amazing cards the six of wands wheel of fortune lovers four of wands six of pentacles and the world are lovely cards to have because uh, they're all about balance and things are t uh, changing things are uh, moving on for you for the better so dear capricorn that's all i have for you i hope that this reading helped you and i'll be able to welcome you again